Hey guys, we've got some new products recently dropping from Awkward Styles that are a great way of pivoting away from the more obvious print-on-demand products like t-shirts. Not that I have anything against t-shirts. You know I love to sell them. I sell a ton every single day, but Awkward Styles print-on-demand jewelry has been a nice addition to my Etsy catalog because not as many people sell jewelry straight up. And they just added uh, necklace and earring sets, which is a nice way and very cost-effective way of standing out from the competition, as well as a few pieces of children-friendly jewelry that is uh, proposition, what is it, like proposition 65, it's some California rule, uh, friendly, it's compliant, all right? And that's another way of saying, hey, not only is it, you know, children's jewelry, but it is compliant and it has the uh, safety data available as well. So I'm gonna share that with you in this video, as well as some niches that we can target when designing our print-on-demand jewelry, so let's get to it. Let's start by checking out the kids-friendly necklaces in Awkward Styles. So you can see here they have three different designs. One is a star, one is a heart, and the other is actually every letter of the alphabet. So you can actually do quite a bit with the variations from the uh, letter necklace over my shoulder here. What I love most about this, guys, is the price point. Awkward Styles jewelry is very affordable to say the least and it leaves a lot of room for running ads, number one. And when you, a lot of people when you think of running ads, you think that like I'm spending money, I'm spending money, but think of it as a function of the profit margin you have in the products you're advertising. Like print on demand jewelry, you're often capturing more than $10 profit per sale. Like you could easily list these at $29.99 leaving a huge cushion, and even if you're breaking even with ads, it's helping you rank on the keywords that are converting, guys. So I, that's what I love about print-on-demand jewelry in general. And with these new uh, kids-friendly pieces, the fact that they're new, number one, you don't have a lot of competition with print-on-demand sellers that are using you know, production partners like Awkward Styles. So you wanna be early to this. And they, they sent an email blast out uh, a week or two ago, so when I see that, I'm like jumping on it immediately. And as far as like kid-friendly niches, if you have kids, you know better than I do. I don't have kids yet, you know what I mean? So you know what your kids would like and that's a great way. And if you don't, by the way, go ask them, right? Um, and jump on those niches. And of course you can do some niche research. Um, it really stick to what you know, I would say. If you have kids though, you definitely have an edge over someone like me who doesn't. Now I wanted to share with you the Awkward Styles kids necklaces are proposition 65 compliant so you could put that in your description in case kids or parents are wondering um, kids probably aren't shopping on etsy maybe they are uh but the parents if they are you know they're, they're probably going to care about that so it says we are proud to inform you that our kids necklaces comply with proposition 65 this means our products adhere to the strict standards set by the state of california regarding chemicals harmful to humans especially to children and if you care to, they also have the uh, safety data sheet here from their manufacturer showing that they pass the Proposition 65. So Awkward Styles being based in California, I think it's awesome that they go the extra mile to, you know, it's great that they don't have harmful chemicals, obviously, but to also get the safety data sheet and share that with us uh, as sellers in case, you know, maybe our customers ask to see it. There, there you go. It's available. So in addition to that, they also launched, and this is more up my alley, I would say, given that I don't have kids, I don't have that personal expertise. It's been a while since I was a kid, so. <laughs> they also offered necklace and earring sets. So not just a necklace and not just earrings, but sets. We're bringing them together in a single product listing. Now, one thing that I didn't really think was super awesome was their default mock-ups. So you know what I did, guys? This is just me. Like When I say I'm excited about being early to something, I mean it. The first thing I did was I said, how am I going to frame this in a way that gets my customers excited to buy from me? So I went ahead and I put this PSD mock-up together that I will literally give you for free. I'm gonna link to it in the description of this video. Um, you might wanna tweak it a little bit so that everybody doesn't go using the exact same mock-up, but I'm gonna put this, I'm just gonna share it with you. And if you've never used Photoshop before, you can use this website, uh, photop.com. It's like a free version of Photoshop and you'll be able to load up the PSD in PhotoP if you don't have Photoshop. Um, I'm just used to using Photoshop, so anyways, like compare what I have here over my shoulder to the default mockups that people who don't put in a little extra effort are gonna be using, right? Not to knock the mockups on awkward styles, but anything you can do to stand out just a little bit, and in this case, make it clear that you're getting both a necklace and earrings, right? So that's a nice value proposition. Uh, you wanna do, you wanna draw attention to that, all right? Now, 
we would be, um, you know, we can't leave this page without showing that. Look at the the pricing here. The pricing is ranging from eighteen dollars and ninety cents, uh, and these ones right here in the middle, it looks like they are twenty two dollars ninety cents. Um, and then if you have Awkward Styles Pro, it can drop. The price can drop as low as sixteen dollars ninety cents. So you definitely want to use Awkward Styles Pro if you're not already. You can actually create an Awkward Styles account for free using the link in the description, and then use code Ryan Hogue, all one word, to get two months free of Awkward Styles Pro to maximize your profit margins. Which again, you can translate into running ads. I would recommend that if you're struggling to make sales, or even if you're not, honestly. When you advertise, guys, you're assisting, think of it like this, you're assisting the Etsy algorithm, or if you push to Amazon, wherever you sell, all right? They don't have the direct integration with Amazon Live yet, but you can do a workaround where you push to Shopify and then Shopify to Amazon. So you can still push these to Amazon too, but think of it as you're training the algorithms on these websites, what keywords customers type into the search bar are associated with your products, meaning that they type it in, they click your product, and they purchase it. You need to expedite that process so that you can make more sales down the line because every sale you make from ads, guys, not that you need to run ads to be successful, but you're expediting the process, right? The biggest threat to your business is you giving up because you're not making sales. Well, guess what? You can make sales, but you need to make sure you get in front of the right people. Ads are a way of expediting doing that. Now, one of the things I wanted to share with you is that I really like this um, product over my shoulder. Uh, in a week or two, I've got the baptism of like my best friend's firstborn um, son. I'm the the godparent, godfather. I love saying godfather. It reminds me of the movie. Uh, <laughs> they have the, and I wouldn't be gifting this to a, you know, a baby, but I'm just saying it's got the cross necklace with the cross earrings, right? Uh, I love seeing this and you can actually see, you know, again, that's basically the mock-up I used over my shoulder here. So in awkward styles, you actually have two styles as well. Down here at the bottom, they have stainless steel and they have 18 karat gold plated. So don't forget that you have an option between the two and you can actually push both in a single Etsy listing and they'll just become variations that the customer can select. But when you're doing your primary mock-up, you kind of have to choose one versus the other in terms of what you show to your customer. So I just wanted to make that clear. And then you also have the um, different box types. I'm kind of blocking it, but you've got the texture magnetic box, which is actually really high quality. It's the the baseline, like the, the if you want to call it the cheaper option, it technically is cheaper, but it's a quality box. I'm not just saying that. I've, I've got a couple demos in the closet over there. Uh, the LED box and the brown leather box. Okay, you can actually select all of those as well and push them. Um, the only thing is I would, I don't like to give the customer too many options and require too many inputs from them because every input you require from a customer, guys, believe it or not, actually reduces your conversion rate. Like the more things, the more action you require them to take, the further your conversion rate, generally speaking, will fall. And that's not a good thing. Like the less input you require from a customer, the better. Because while they're sitting there trying to figure out like what color do I need, what box type do I need, like anything can happen that stops them from checking out. So just keep that in mind. I don't. I, I usually don't really offer different boxes. I'll typically just do the texture magnetic box and move on. Now in terms of design, guys, don't forget that down here on the left-hand side, they have templates, okay? Awkward Styles has pre-built templates that you can easily customize like this is a cross necklace but it says to my superhero mom it's like wait that doesn't make sense well you can say for my first communion right you can you can easily click in use the text tool um and change it to whatever you want it to say like i just did a really quick off the cuff you know you can see for my first communion congrats uh first communion this would probably be a more appropriate gift because typically people are a little bit uh, older th than compared to a baptism and now what keywords do you hone in on? I just wanted to show you guys that in addition to Awkward Styles having great products that are very affordable, especially if you use Awkward Styles Pro, right? So we've got that locked in. We've got a huge profit margin to play with in terms of advertising, right? If you're selling a necklace and earrings, you could probably charge $39.99, no problem, okay? Especially for the um, 18 karat plated gold option, which again is just down here at the bottom. Don't forget to select that. You can go to Etsy and just type in like, whatever whatever seed keywords you're thinking of. Like in this case, I typed in communion gift and you can see like, maybe it's not that intuitive, but communion gifts for girl, communion gifts for boy, communion gift for girl necklace, right? So it's like, okay, we're on the right track there. Communion gift for girl necklace might be a great place to start. Um, over here, I had also typed in cross necklace and then I ran the Allura Chrome extension just to get an idea of things like what is what is the average price point? when someone types in cross necklace into Etsy, right? Because we are selling a cross necklace, okay? 
even though I zoomed in a little bit too far there, my bad. But we are selling the um, cross necklace. Do, 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 where'd it go? We're selling the cross necklace here. And then we're also selling, of course, the um, earrings paired with it. But even just cross necklace on Etsy, average price, $40. So I pretty much hit the nail on the head there. $39.99 plus, you know, you've got the earrings included. So you could actually go higher than that. But if you just launched a new product on Etsy, you probably want to price it competitively, give people the extra incentive to click it due to the price. Um, you know, and it's up to you really. It's really up to you. You know, offer free shipping or not, whatever you think is, you know, there's not there's not a right or wrong way. You know, all you need, really need to focus on is when you launch that new listing, number one, that it looks incredible. It helps to have a really good primary thumbnail, which is why I'm giving this to you for free. And beyond that, guys, like a compelling value proposition. Like it's a great product, a great deal. You're getting the necklace, you're getting the earrings too. And whether it's free shipping or not, you know, I don't think anybody's gonna think twice about buying it for $39.99 when the average price for just a cross necklace is 40 bucks. Um, in terms of like where my mind was going in with the communion maybe gift, you know what I mean? Uh, first communion, I went to Allura, I went to the keyword finder, I typed in first communion. You can actually see here uh, various keywords that are associated with driving sales, all right? First communion gift, baptism gift, confirmation gift, first holy communion. By the way, these are all different primary keywords you could associate with the cross necklace and earring uh, combo. Holy, first holy communion, baptism, Catholic, confirmation, rosary. Here I typed in Catholic, just very high level. You can see here Catholic art, Catholic gift, Catholic gifts, Christian, confirmation gifts, Jesus, etc. Uh, here I just searched for Christian. You can see additional keywords. Um, I also want to draw attention that even though this isn't in the context of Etsy, obviously, if you can look at Amazon data, that's gonna be really valuable. So I went over here to Helium 10, all right? And I used the Magnet Keyword Finder. Now this is really like a you know pretty expensive tool for primarily FBA sellers, but I have access to it, so why not leverage it? This is gonna go deep when it comes to keyword research, all right? And this is focused on Amazon, but I just wanted to show you that even if you don't get down here into the 4,400 related keywords and phrases that it, it drilled up for us when I searched for first communion. Um, if I actually just hide myself again really quickly, <laughs> I keep having to hide myself. On the right hand side, you can see word frequency and it gives you the most frequent words associated with my seed phrase, which in this case was first communion. Okay. You see I have communion first girls, girl. So it looks like it's favoring girls versus guys. Um, girls are being favored more baptism, rosary, holy, decorations, precious moments, boys, gifts, banner box, veil, and para. So by the way, veil, you know what I mean? That, that's something maybe worth exploring. Banner, that might be worth exploring. Like this may lead you to other products that you didn't consider initially just from your keyword research in this space. Now, the last thing I wanted to share with you is that when you are um, actually going in here and designing, let me zoom back out. It doesn't like it when you're on the designer and you zoom in and zoom out. But if you need an actual like phrase to include in your design, uh, you can come over here to chat GPT and you can literally say like, write me a two, write me two sentences for a card to celebrate. Uh, and you can even, if you want to do personalization, you can put a name in, or if you want to keep it generic, you just say to celebrate a girl's first holy communion and chat GPT will do literally all of the thinking for you. It's, it's giving you the answer right here. May this day be special. May this special day of your first Holy communion be filled with joy, love, and the blessings of the Lord as you embark on a beautiful journey of faith, right? You can just pull that, pull the next sentence and pull it straight into your pre-built design template. That's already available for you for free in awkward styles. Don't forget that jewelry design templates are over here on the sidebar. It's literally labeled jewelry design templates. So guys, let me know, are you excited to list some of these? I challenge you to get like 10 listings up on your Etsy shop, give it a shot. They're new, they're still new, and you have a very competitive fulfillment price and a justifiably high um, price to charge your customers, right? With a nice comfortable profit margin, which will let you explore ads. I'm linking this in the description for free, so make sure you download it and you can load it into Photo P if you wanna go in there and edit it, um, which I'm sure you will. Uh, by the way, this background layer here, You'll just take your custom uh, mock-up when you publish it, take the custom mock-up and just turn off this layer that I have in here in the demo and then load that in right there from Awkward Styles. They generate that mock-up for you dynamically. Guys, I hope you appreciated this video. Happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you tomorrow with a new Etsy shop review.